That's right, it's your boy Skills Good coming to you live from the Daytona races. I'm over here at Rolex 24, and what you see behind me is all the previous winners from all the years. Each car behind me, not only more than billions and trillions of dollars, each car behind me won a race. They've been a champion, they took the cup home, they got it all. So I'm here right now, and we're gonna talk to some of the drivers, we're gonna talk to some of the fans, and we're gonna see what is it like to have an experience at Rolex 24. Uh, especially brought to you by your boy Scoot Scoot. So you know it's gonna be a great addition. Look at that, look at this guy getting, he got the whole camera crews and TV, so he's definitely doing something special over here. See what we got going on here. Got his crew, hey, how you doing? All right. Well, this thing was sponsored by RC Cola. Holy smokes. You guys know RC Cola, right? They got some money. Now, would you look at that? That's one hell of a race car. Goddamn James Weaver and Price Cobb been driving this goddamn car for sure for a long time. Take a look at that. Looks like we got this group of race car fans over here taking a picture with Jeff Petty or Richard. 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 That's uh, Andrew Spaulding in the middle, who's the CEO of Porsche Cars. Over there next to him is David Antopini. He is also from Porsche Cars. The driver we have here is Rick Hamilton. Rick has been one of the best drivers in all the land. Now that's a racer. He wears glasses and he's fucking hoes. We got all these previous champions over here. Everybody's enjoying their time talking to the champions. Let's, let's get some champion talk. in the iconic Chevrolet prototype he won from like the early 90s. That's some good talking. We got some good talking from the boys there. What are they talking about? We got all kinds of race car drivers here. Where, where, are, you, where are you guys going? <laughs> Daytona, baby. <laughs> so you guys are right here to win the race? Damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> In 24 minutes. <laughs> 24 minutes, that's right. So you guys, good luck out there in the field. You guys do good. This is a championship winner's lap. Only winners are allowed. And obviously you guys have the chicken dinner, don't you? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Code 14, 6, 11, blue 12. Look at that. We're having a, the Porsche Carrera. What do we got here? A fucking Ford Mustang, 1999. Yes, sir. What the fuck? Look at that. It's a good year. Brumos Porsche. Hell yeah, we like that. Yeah, what do we got here? We got Walsh Racing. This is the Racer Walsh Corps. They're pulling up in a, in a Ford F-160. What do we got here? Hell yeah, TBR. 1926 TBR champion. What do we got over here? Oh, another Porsche. 1937 Porsche. What kind of car do we got here? A oh, Chevrolet Joe Vogel. Championship of the hookers. What do we got here? Oh, a bloody Corvette Camaro Jr. Hell yeah. Yeah. We got some of the greatest racers here in all the land. Some of the best of the best. Oh, this is Daytona. Check out the fucking grass for a second. This is real grass at the Daytona 500. Somebody spray painted the goddamn logo of Daytona on the grass. Yeah, I, should, I shouldn't be on here. What the fuck? Miller Madonna. What's up, guy? Fucking killing it. Yeah, so we're having a lot of cool cars here. We got a Ford 3120. Number 65, featherweight champion of the world. Hey, we're gonna be watching you closely. Do Yo. what you're good at. That's Dan Oakleby. Dan Oakleby, he's been uh, racing for like 30 years. Holy shit, this is Jeff fucking Gordon's car. You can't trick me, I know that dew point sign anywhere. That's fucking Jeff Gordon, rest in peace. Uh, we got Woodman here. Charles Slater is over here with his girlfriend and baby mama. Hey, God, you go in there and you kill it, okay? That's fun. Today we celebrate you. Let's go. That's my guy, Richter Basil. He's doing his thing. Let's go. That's my guy, Garrett. He's over there in his car. His car going about 70 miles per hour, full tank of gas here. <laughs> now that's a car. Now that's a Porsche. That's a nice Porsche right there. That's a real good looking Porsche. But you want to see a real, real Porsche at this RC Coca-Cola one. I love RC. Look at him just ready to go. These two cars right here. That's right. That's right. The race is about to fucking start. I got all the drivers right here ready to go. This is the Rolex 24 at Daytona hosted by M to the K. I mean, it's an unusual day. The weather is about 76 degrees. We got some of the world's best drivers, the world's best cars and teams. 
This is going to be a fantastic race. The race is 24 hours long. That means for 24 continuous hours, these cars will be going around the track like this. That, that's what's going to happen. So we can't wait to be a part of it and watch them do this winner's lap. It's your boy, Scoot Scott Skelemachke. I love you guys. All right, the cars are coming back in right now. Number 22, David McLaren. He's pulling in in his camel jockey. Here we go. We got a Corvette, 1955 Corvette. Oh, there goes the orange. Bill Crossin. Bill Crossin's back in this bitch. Look at this, 1359, Garrett Bush. Looking good, what do we got here? We got a Kent Racing Mazda, 1926 Mazda right there. Here's Garrison's Porsche, number 58. Here goes a Boomer's Porsche, coming in at 6.30. Here goes one of the fastest cars in the history of Daytona racing, it's the number six T-Bird. Jared O'Neill and Coffee, we have Joe Vardy's pulling up in his 01 Camaro. This uh, Camaro logo has been very old, it's very good. Look at that horsepower. This car has to be pushed. There's no option but to push number 26, which is Jared O'Neill. Alex Job Racing, which have done many jobs for throughout the years. They were our 2003 champions, so it's good to see them again here on the floor. Another year, another dollar. Isn't that right? There he is, the youngest driver in the game right there, taking off. That's right, we got a winner right here. hard you know not knowing having you know tested the car since it's been restored um, just out there having fun and you know going around at a speed fast enough to have fun but we're not out here to prove anything or uh, follow up the car so just out there having fun and getting the car back out on Daytona so. that's great great yeah. thanks to that's fantastic. Now, what was it like going around in uh, your older vehicle here? It's been, it's a classic car. Everybody knows it and is familiar with it. Now, with you being a, a more younger driver, to be able to hop in a car like this, what's it feel like going around the track with all the old, old birds and you're a young bird? I mean, typically I am in the newer stuff, but it's always fun to get in an old car and um, on treaded tires. It's just a completely different experience. And of course, a car with history like this racing here in, you know, 1970 and the Sebring 12 hours in 1970. It's just cool to be in a piece of Daytona history at such a historic event um, and getting it back out on, on the banks at Daytona. What we, can we expect from you for the next 10 years? Uh, probably just various historic racing for fun and um, yeah just get behind the wheel of whatever I can hopefully maybe I'll get out here for the 24 one day but right now it's not in the plans but you heard it here first he doesn't plan on winning any championships and just having fun that's what it's all about enjoy life have fun that's right you keep killing it out here that's my guy over there not a champion but he's definitely a driver